start singing some of these great worship songs, and all you've been listening to all week is Chris Brown and some other stuff. Now your spirit can't even connect. I'm not mad at Chris Brown. I'm an artist. I'm a musician too. I can handle the music. My point is, how can I lead you into the presence of God if you have not already been there making adjustments before you come to church? It is not our job to now detox you. We don't want to take time. No more than an hour, then you say, uh, Well, how long is it going to take us to finally get everybody to be on one accord to make one hallelujah at the same time? Because everybody's not making the adjustments. So now we got mental over here, emotional over there. Some folk have not even really in this year been in one good week where their mind and their heart have been in agreement. Your mind saying, Let's not do that again. You know how this turned out last time. You know he ain't no good. Why you keep going back into that relationship? Your mind is trying to talk to you, but your emotions like, I don't want to be by myself, though. At least he loves me. No, he don't. What's going on? And now your mind is over here saying, you got to do this again, because after you get your heart broken, now what are you going to do? You ain't going to come to your mind. You're going to come to your spirit saying, get me out of this mess. And then your spirit going to talk to your mind and say, you ain't been on your job. Then your mind going to say, I've been trying to talk to my emotions, but my emotions won't listen because there's too much schizophrenia going on. And then we come to church and we got to sing and preach to people that are split.